As a medium of CD and MRI scans are, their display in 2D requires physicians to use their imaginations to mentally stitch together paper thin images and pictures, how they fit together in the 3D human being, right? So, current single modality imaging for preoperative surgical planning and the intraoperative surgical guidance uh, using CT and MRI has certain limitations in suddenly identifying the actually an uh, actual anatomy, which is crucial uh, for surgeons to make collect intra procedure decision. Why do we scan and diagnose on 2D display even when the patient body is 3D, right? So image guided simulation and navigation in surgery are often used to assist in understanding the complex CD anatomical structures and pathology in individual patient. However, CD reconstructed images from CT and MRI have only been presented on a flat display, which cannot accurately represent the actual spatial location of the organs, lesions, and surgical instruments. Uh, nowadays, we are using uh, usually using the uh, laparoscopy or endoscopy for uh, abdominal surgery, but we are watching usually the two the flat display, that's the point. So to improve the gap between surgeon's skill level and spatial awareness, we developed a surgical guidance system using extended reality XR. It means VR, AR, and MR, and also we are integrating the metaverse. So this is the terminology. The XR, extended reality, means the umbrella term that converts immersive technology. And the pre-presentative forms such as VR, AR, MR are referring to all real and virtual com combined environment and human-machine interactions generated by computer technology and wearables. So the VR is immersing yourself into the completely actual world, you know, only the digital data. You are watching digital data on the digital display, right? The augmented reality is that overlaying the digital layer on the contextual information into a built environment. Okay, you can see the actual location and position in the digital monitors, right? So mixed reality means an immersive mix of VR and AR. You can see that and the real world and digital data. Virtual reality and CD imaging technologies are helping physicians to provide better diagnosis, explain the diagno uh, new diagnosis to the patient, planning for surgeries, and training for their profession. Uh, we need to optimize the medical data. The CAT scan data is very complex and too much data, but we need to reduce these data during the actual surgery because we need to know where the surgical margin is, where the, ca the cancer scan can the location is during the real actual surgery. We need to know much about only the important location of each organ. So we build the web-based external application by ourselves. For CT MRI images, organs, lesions are extracted into colored CD polygons. We represented that it's into a virtual and real world space using our original web based extra application named Holo Eyes. We have integrated a commercially available cloud service that accomplished XR in only five minutes. After you upload your own body data by STL file or uh, OBJ file, like Polygon file, to our server, after only five minutes, you can download the extra application. So these systems were set up at five minutes. Compared with conventional navigation systems, there is far easier and cost-effective to introduce. Spatial awareness, immersion, and interactivity were enhanced. It provided a better sense of presence and reality. Extra headsets are now available to create fully realized immersive environment that can be explored and have a wide range of application. When you wear these goggles, you can watch the two different images for 
they fly and do like that, but your brain can understand the city perception of these images. So this is virtual reality. The Hetman display has full six degrees of freedom, rotational and positional tracking. This tracking is precise, low latency, and suddenly meta accurate. So no dizziness is now. In our system, you can add the arrow or letters and points on the patient data, not only the anatomy, and also you can upload the patient individual surgical instrument like a forceps or scissors and so on. This is like a simulation for personalized data. And you can tag, add the tag over each organ's name or like a surgical margin here or a cancer location here. So or the veteran surgeon are uh, not usually uh, adding some uh, letters with oh uh, this is the hardest point you should uh, prepare the uh, disease uh, the, the bleeding or something. And uh, even you can remove each organs one by one, like a resection. And uh, this is a simulation for the patient data, uh, using the patient individual data. And this patient has a bended uh, supine vertebra. And we need to fix the, 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 this patient vertebra supine to straight. So we need to put the needles and the screws on the supine. So we, got, we can get the CAT data, computer graphics data of these screws from the, uh, the, uh, the machine company. So we can add the, these data to the patient before the surgery. This is like a patient individual simulation. So augmented reality, it means that the virtual world is allowing the users to navigate naturally, naturally with the ability to walk around and use motion tracking head, head held controllers to vividly manipulate objects, interact with precision, communicate and experience massive environment. And you can walk, you walk, you walk around the inner space of the body, like a you know, fantastic journey, right? Fantastic Voyage, the movie in 1970. Uh, and in the actual surgery, we, we are wearing these uh, mixed reality goggles to share the location and position of each surgeon's head and hands and also the patient data. And we can see the same location and position of the patient uh, during the actual surgery in front of the patient abdomen. These patients actually have uh, you know, multiple metastasis from the, the colonic cancer, the liver cancer. So we need to reduce all, all cancers. But uh, the, the surgical margin is very important because we need to reduce the uh, organ function failure of the liver, right? We need to uh, le uh, uh, prepare the uh, liver failure before surgery. So this is pancreatic cancer surgery. So mixture is merging the real and virtual and virtual world to produce new environments and visualization where physician, physical and the digital objects coexist and interact in real time. And this is magically too, actually. We need, used a head mount display with position sensors and transparent wearable glasses to show the three polygons and the certain surgical field as if they were floating in the air. HoloLens is magically keeps holograms in place by using various coordinate systems to keep track on, of mm -hmm. the location and orientation of objects. Mm -hmm. uh, Control sensors input from um, infrared sensors and uh, CD camera allows the gesture manipulation like this of the holographic organs while wearing the extra goggles. So, the Apple will release the Vision Pro, as you know, and this is very massive. Uh, you can see the actual environment see through using the camera and the display. So we apply the holography like CD guide to organs, lesions, and procedures based on CD MRI images of individual patients to create a stereoscopic view in the real space about the surgical fields to allow viewing in all directions. You know, 
that is the sterile condition. We need to wear the sterile gloves, but the holography doesn't need to sterilize, right? We can glass. So this is the benefit. The holograph are given presence in our world by uh, many in places we move around in space. When we share this coordinate system between devices, we can play a uh, shared experiments that allows us to take part in a shared holographic world. And in all surgeries, we could accurately reproduce the organs, arteries, veins, prepare tissues, and tumors from the GCD as holography. We already performed more than 100 surgery using these kind of goggles. This is the pancreatic surgery. This is the coronary bypass. Uh, this is the lung cancer embedded to the spine. And this is the renal cancer dissection. And uh, uterus myoma. And the uterus cancer. And the uh, biliary cancers. Then uh, in Japan, we can perform the CT scan during natural surgery in the hybrid operating room we calculate the real-time Cassian CT data of the patient. And in addition, the users can move around in the VR space. It moved, improved the section, a selection of the section area, avoidance of anatomical misidentification, unnecessary bleeding, and miscommunication during the surgery. So uh, our system can put the holographic guiding system in the actual viral anchor environment and the, the surgeon, surgeon uh, usually perform that, uh, put the insertion of the needles or screws or something along the holographic guidelines. It's very good for uh, education for young surgeons and leads them to the uh, surgical specialty level. And using the, our virtual endoscopy guidance system, you can see both uh, images uh, with the you know the virtual uh, endoscopy image and you know that that is the world uh, location uh, indication and the endoscopic surgery is also available uh, this is by the physicians not the surgeons and the ERCP you know endoscopic uh, courses uh, uh, endoscopic viewer and pancreatic duct uh, imaging using the uh, endoscopic ultrasound. They usually put the needles on the uh, catheter into the very tree or uh, pancreatic duct. But they, uh, confu they, they, uh, oh, they sometimes confused where the correct location to this patient for uh, the personalized data. So we are now, we, they are uh, now uh, explaining where is the best position of this patient in the air during the actual surgery. This is the RF wave for liver cancer, the radio wave uh, uh, therapy for uh, liver cancer. And this is the uh, bone marrow exposure. And this is virtual reality simulation for individual patient data. And uh, uh, IVR for brain uh, analysis is also available. They can shape, shape, they can shape the catheter individual for the individual patient artery, artery uh, anatomy in the air. They, 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 you can, they can put the cores and the catheters into the patient, small uh, vessels into a brain. And this is the analysis of the abdomen. And the stent is really, uh, we usually we put this patient with the stent treatment, but we need to design where the correct area and the location and length and size is. And before surgery, we can know much about the correct size, precise size for this patient. And this is the tabby, uh, arterial valve replacement using the endoscopic ca uh, the catheter. And the white one is the calcification of our dick valve in the heart, and we can put this data the stented into a patient the heart. Actually, this is the, uh, the MetaQuest Pro. And he he are now watching the actual environment see through with the glasses. And this is the actual surgery. They actually, last week, 
we performed the live surgery from the Tokyo University to the Medical Congress of the Heart. And this is a live surgery performance using our uh, holographic navigation. Here we successfully put the placement of the artificial bow to the aorta. And, uh, and in using the metaverse, we can have the VR conference for sharing virtual avatars like this. And then this is the metaverse, and the metaverse is, uh, you know, uh, the made up, uh, the prefix meta means virtual, and the universe, universe means the real world. And we can we are now offering the uh, virtual session function using the metaverse. And every surgeon and physician can gather in the metaverse world using the VR headset. And we can share the patient data and uh, the voices and the conversations and even uh, the movement of the hands and the heads. And we can record these movements itself and the voice at the same time. And we can relive these movements and voices with the head mount display. This is like a live surgical uh, training system. So I think it's very useful for uh, patient education, right? Uh, understanding what the uh, uh, disease is and what the uh, treatment is, and so on. And using the smartphone, you can see this data using, you know, 100 yen via book, paper book, book with a card book, only one dollar you can buy. And in Japan, there are many kinds of, you know, 100 yen shop, right? <laughs> you can buy the VR gold, only one dollar. And we can merge the endoscopic data or movie and the holographic uh, polygons in the uh, metaverse world. And not only the polygon data, but also the actual uh, images or actual movie you can share. Uh, from the distant part, like uh, telemedicine, uh, telesurgery. And uh, we are uh, using this uh, kind of uh, uh, metaverse system for education for young surgeons, young physicians. They can understand the procedure is, the, the technology is, using the virtual reality. This is cannulation uh, for uh, uh, you know, the shunt for the inner pair. And this is the placement of the uh, 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 artificial uh, 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 arterial uh, analysis. So this is for uh, app for the education. We can share this movement, uh, the movement of the hand and the voices with the, uh, the smartphone app. And then you can download our application, Holoids ADU, uh, to not only the uh, iPhone, but also the Android smartphone. And then we have a systematic review. M more than 74 papers in Japan are already published about the hollow hol uh, eyes. And in English, more than 33 papers uh, for uh, orthopedic surgery, urology, hepatobiliary surgery, and uh, also uh, otolaryngology, digestive surgery, and so on. And this is the most highest impact factor, 9.4, uh, by analysis of surgery by uh, Toshima University for liver cancer. And this is uh, also the also the liver cancer surgery, and uh, for uh, colorectal cancer, colorectal cancer, uh, linear puncture, and the linear kidney model, and so on. And uh, in our system, we have uh, we our system have been used in more than 100 medical institutions for surgical planning, simulation, navigation, education, and training. And not only surgery, but also the, uh, for physicians, uh, like uh, uh, also, uh, anesthesia, and uh, the, the implantation, and the patient informed consent, and so on. So this has illustrative benefit in surgical planning, simulation, training, and education. The special surgical image guidance simulation provides a better anatomical reference too as a tailor made guidance in minimal invasive surgeries and uh, contributes to medical safety and accuracy, less invasiveness, and improvement uh, in education. 
So our cross-platform Excel collaboration app enables programmatic intelligence to do augmented reality, turning any operation loops into a 3D workspace. The infinite, con uh, the infinite connectivity by this digital innovation in becoming an alternative to the real world in terms of physically, spatially, interactively, and immersiveness as anyone can act as if they were in reality. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you.